Elephant money is still pretty new, and not a lot of people are talking about it. There are so many opportunities that come with the system, though, and I bet you are here to know more about it. Well, you have come to the right place, because today I will talk more about elephant money and touch on some really interesting things, like the idea behind it, the tokenomics, the protocol, and so on. Before we get right into the video, welcome to Wealthmatic, your regular dose of wealth and millionaire inspiration. Here we talk about everything related to money, wealth, and success. Fast track your wealth and get more life changing, mindset shifting, and great content regularly, only right here on this channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe for more money content by clicking the icon below. For today's video, we are going to discuss three major parts. So let's get right into the very first part. The brains behind the project. The developer team is composed of highly experienced and intelligent experts headed by a man named Tony Perkins, or who we call the bank teller. The bank teller actually has tons of amazing accomplishments under his name. As we visit his LinkedIn page, we can look at his background. As he says right here, he is a computer scientist and he tries to go beyond just getting things working. To quote him further, he has recently turned his skills and passion toward the areas of the consumer internet, digital media, cloud computing, sustainability, and everything startups. He takes pride in having executive level competencies in the production of online systems from concept to production rollout. Furthermore, he's got hands-on experience in the majority of web and cloud technologies powering successful online services today. Graduating from MIT for his first degree in 1999, which is computer science and electrical engineering, he further pursued education and earned a master's degree in financial economics from Boston University in 2007. We can also find all of his work experiences right here, starting from him being an undergraduate research assistant from MIT Media Lab in 1999 to eventually him being the founder and CEO of Mako Labs. With that said, let's go into what Mako Labs is all about. Basically, this is a platform that is all about building cutting edge solutions, leveraging advanced DevOps, containers, and best of breed solutions from Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud Platform. They are a collaborative group of developers focused on helping users from all over the world decrease their time to market, increase uptime, and lower their cost to operate. In addition, Tony Perkins also developed Bankroll Flow, which is a high-yield and open-ended certificate of deposit. To say the least, Bankroll Flow was successful as it was one of the pioneers to have a daily ROI on the Tron network. But I don't want to hold anything back from you guys, so let me just say that this platform was not perfect. Well, it's as expected since it's the first of its kind. After an immediate drop in the native token for Bankroll Flow, another dev team took its place and soon took over the market. This is now known as the Drip Network, which was huge all the way up until now after being added in the Binance Chain Network. Anyway, the bank teller does not really reside on a high horse and tell you all of his glory on his platforms. Instead, he will humbly tell you that he can never attain everything that he has right now without his hardworking team of consultants, experts, and volunteers who are very willing to help him build his own foundation in the world of crypto. He has collaborated mostly with large social media platforms to help him expand the reach of his platform. Actually, if you look up Elephant Money on any social media platform, you can see tons of discussions and engagements about it, like threads on Twitter, Facebook posts, and YouTube videos. Because of that stable team, word about the platform spreads quickly like wildfire. They also have a really engaging Twitter account which is just the cherry on top for their entire presence in the world of social media. 
Now we move on to the second major part about elephant money, the tokenomics, or simply how the token works. Right off the bat, the elephant token is a stable coin, therefore it is immune from both inflation and deflation. Somehow it can experience deflation at times, but overall there is no more being minted and absolutely none getting burned. One thing to know about the elephant token is that it is a reflection token. What does this mean? It basically means that any wallet who holds elephant tokens will continue to receive more airdrops of elephant tokens as long as they do not run out of elephant tokens in the first place. If you have more elephant tokens with you, or if the trading volume is weak and low, then expect that you won't be receiving much in return in contrast when the trading volume is high and that you have a large bag of elephant tokens. Now how do you make money from possessing elephant tokens? One, you get more money from receiving more tokens and of course, whenever the price spikes higher. Now I want to emphasize that the core to elephant sustainability is to have a large bag of elephant tokens in your wallet or contract. Like I said, if you have elephant tokens in your wallet or contract, then the amount will reflect back as you get to earn more tokens over time. In the beginning, there were meant to be an overall amount of tokens at 1 quadrillion. I know, it really is a lot, so let's find out where they are right now. 49 trillion tokens, which account to 49% of the whole bunch, went into the elephant graveyard, which is a smart contract meant to collect reflections. Get this, it's not your usual burn address. As soon as the supply hits 51% in the elephant graveyard, that 1% will be sold as it maintains that 50% balance. When this happens, that 1% will be sent immediately to locked liquidity on PancakeSwap. Now, you should know that Elephant has this mechanism in order to keep the graveyard stellar in its nature, meaning to disallow instances from consuming too much of the profits from the reflections. Also, this creates a clear direction for more liquidity on PancakeSwap, which is just good news as it contributes to further hardening of Elephant. Out of the 1 quadrillion tokens, 1% or merely 1 trillion tokens are distributed for marketing as well as other aspects on the website such as the security audits. Meanwhile, the final remaining 50% or 50 trillion tokens are used for liquidity. This is further broken down into two halves. The 25% or 25 trillion go into investors who took a part in the liquidity drive and the other 25% or 25 trillion is distributed as lock liquidity trade into PancakeSwap. The next part is all about the protocol, or how this works on a larger scale. This is gonna be a lot, so let's get right into the gist, beginning with the minting function. So, 100 BUSD is used to mint trunk. As trunk is minted, there is going to be a 1% fee from the total BUSD which will be delivered to the pancake swap as liquidity for trunk and BUSD. 25% from the total BUSD is then converted into elephant going straight into the elephant treasury. 74% accounts for the percentage of total BUSD being sent into the cash treasury. Note that the money in the cash treasury will be left untouched, not until trunk is finally redeemed. And then, the elephant treasury will purchase 11% of the BUSD, where 10% will be sent into the dividend pool and the final 1% will be going to the performance pool. Now that we have learned all about the minting function, let's now move on to the redeem function. Let's say that we will redeem 100 trunk. Again, there will be a 1% fee to be snatched from the total which goes into the dividend pool. This prompts the function to determine 
if trunk is at peg or above peg. If trunk is above peg, then you will have a payout of 100% BUSD. On the other hand, if trunk is below peg, then your payout will only be at 75% BUSD and the remaining 25% is elephant token. They do this in order to ensure a stable peg priced at 99 cents. Simultaneously, the elephant treasury will purchase a total of four trunk. One trunk will be sent into the performance pool, while the three trunk is going into the dividend pool. Let me tell you one thing. The mechanisms in both the minting and redeem function triggers the sale of elephant token, thus prompting reflections contributing to the increase in elephant treasury. Anyway, we now talk about the trunk native staking. Mainly, the greatest thing about staking is that you can withdraw your principal anytime you want without paying a single fee. There is also no fee to pursue other activities like compounding or claiming. With trunk native staking, you will be having rewards of 1% of the total balance in the dividend pool to be paid out daily. With this, the APR can be calculated following the formula of multiplying the total dividend balance by 0.01 or 1% and then dividing by the total stake balance. Afterwards, multiply the result by 100 to obtain the daily annual percentage rate and then finally divide by 365 to get the yearly APR rate. With this, you're assured that the total dividend pool can never succumb into total loss with absolutely zero balance, since a percentage is continuously added up on a daily basis. And lastly, we now proceed to the Stampede Bonding, which is the most concrete feature of Elephant Money, making it the platform's bread and butter. When you place an amount of trunk into Stampede, Elephant is purchased. Out of the total, there is 50% or half of the entire thing going straight into Pancake Swap as liquidity and the other half is sent into the Elephant Treasury. The Elephant Treasury will then pay out 0.56% of the total amount bonded daily through Trump. This then spurs your rewards, which can be fully compounded with no fees at all. Whenever you choose to claim them, then you will only be paying a 2.5% fee, which will be sent again to PancakeSwap as liquidity. And that's basically it for this entire video. Check out other videos on my channel if you are interested in more crypto and money-making content just like this one. If you have completed the video, hit the like button and tell me what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think and would highly appreciate questions. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post something new. That is it for today, see you on the next video.